Hello everyone, this is um, SaveDDO for a new video and today I'm here with my friend Trisim here, he likes to talk and um, he says many interesting things and today we're going to talk about um, leveling and how to acquire experience uh, for epic leveling. So like a few years ago I released a bunch of um, well a series of uh, videos called the DDO leveling guide and the idea was pretty much to for each level to give what quest to run on what difficulty and how many times and so for each level I would like show a quest um, and how you know show how to run it efficiently and I have received a lot of um, positive you know feedback on it so and well a lot of things have changed including like the XP needed to cap to cap a character at level 20 um, so if you didn't know it was drastically reduced um, so you know wh well the leveling guide still works just fine you know if you're wondering it it's the same thing it the only difference is that you don't need to run quests as many times so you can just blast through those quests on the pick elite uh, <laughs> on elite ones and you know that's um, you know it's the same quest but you just don't have to run them as many times um, well and with the level cap uh, now at 28 and soon at level 30, I believe it's um, it's a good time to introduce um, the epic leveling guide. Um, so at this point you only need 6.6 .6 million XP to go from um, level 20 to 28. And with the changes to the experience mechanics, you simply don't want to repeat a quest too many times. Um, but because the, the penalties go away by 50% every day, it is a great idea to repeat um, the best quest once or twice a day. Um, so, like, there is no, n th there isn't one specific path to follow. Just a lot of options in order to acquire experience fast. And I, like, I won't be like mouth feeding you, you know, telling you you need to run that and that this day, and then tomorrow you run this. No, I will just be, you know explaining what those different options are and you will just have to work out what works best for you depending on like the time the time that you ha um, are able to spend daily on ddo and if you're able to solo and well most importantly what you enjoy running um, so i'll briefly go over these options in this video and then i'll make one video per option and explain everything in detail so like how to run a quest or well, you know, um, so I mean, you don't worry if you don't understand um, everything that I'm talking about right now. <laughs> well, hopefully you are, but you know. Um, so the first option is well known as it simply consists in running quests. Um, yeah, I mean, usually epic card for speed and, you know, if you're like some hardcore uh, player and you're running with friends or everything, you can just run epic lead, and, you know, just as fast. Um, so common quest choices are um, Von Free, um, Spies in the House, um, so Von Free is in House K, uh, I mean this is like, there's all like almost always an LFM map for it, so it's it's one of everyone's favorite quests for uh, running XP, I'll bet you there's one up right now, and no there is not, I'm... <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, this is uh, Von Free. Um, then we have Spies in the House, which is naturally well known, but the XP was increased and it is now much better. So if you're wondering, this quest is located in House D. There is a bunch of traps, and that's probably the only quest downside. Um, there's also quite a bit of jumping around and stuff, so you know it's not run as much, but it is great XP. So I would, I would. Yeah, it's right here if you're wondering. So I would run it at least once a day as well. Then there is the Chamber for Yume, which is also known as Wizard King, um, and that is in Sands, so Sands of Ministerium, or whatever you pronounce it. This is well known as well, so I don't think I need to explain where that one is located. Um, and then we have some of the quick Evening Star quests, uh, such as Impossible Demands and the Shinjulin stuff. Yeah, it's been two years and I, I still can't pronounce that thing right. Well, I mean, you know what I mean, you know, Rusted Blades and uh, th those uh, four quests. Part of the second Evening Star chain. Um, so that was the first option, just running quests daily. Uh, now, the second option is Sagas. You know, the really nice thing is that um, 
we have a lot of them available right now and they give a lot of experience i think it goes up to uh over 1050 uh, so it's 50k so it's a lot of um, xp and the um, you know and xp potions voice of the master and the sheep buff experience also affect that xp so if you're actually going to grab a saga reward you want to get some um, xp buffs going on um, um, now this is a nice boost and especially since the uh, with the two elite reward which gives well obviously if you have if you run all the quests on epic card you're gonna get a saga reward on hard if you run everything on epic elite your saga reward will be two elite and the really nice thing is that you only need to run half the quest on epic elite um, to receive the true elite uh, reward which is the highest tier reward and for that you need to upgrade that reward with 15 charge so say for example you could have 10 quests in a saga and then you could run five of the easiest quests on epic elite and then the five others on epic hard and then just spend some shards to upgrade to true elite reward and receive the best xp so if you don't mind spending uh, 15 shards you know uh, every now and then on saga this is a, a good idea because um, obviously there are a bunch of quests that people are not really able to solo on on epic elite uh, you know on evening star um, there's a couple of quests like in the belly of the beast this is probably a quest that terrifies people you know it's it's n it's n not that big of a deal but you know, I suppose it it can frighten some people. And the thing is, uh, you know, if you want to skip it, you can just run it um, on Epic Card and then upgrade it um, to get the best reward. So this is another idea. So that was your second option. So just a quick recap: we have just running stuff and then sagas. Now, the third option is to six star the Evening Star challenges. This is worth at least one million experience, and it is extremely fast and fun. I really enjoy doing that. The only sad thing though is that you can only re you know receive that XP once. So if you're on an epic TR, you know, it will not give you as much XP if you've already done it. Um so I mean this is the only downside uh, you know for that. Um, um now there's a more recent option, so and that is to get a group for Thunder Homes Slayers, get a slayer potion going and splitting up and hitting stuff, killing stuff. Um, I mean, I, th I think it's really fun, you know, it's uh, it's like it's like a break from all the regular quests, ex you know, XP and, you know, it's a, it's a great um, option since it's fun, it's relaxing to do, and plus there's a bunch of explorers in there, so it's, um, it's lots of different various, you know, sources of XP, so explorers, uh, just the killing, and red names and red names also have a chance to drop dwarven ingots which um, are one of the necessary ingredients to craft the best weapons in the game and these are um, thunder forged uh, weapons such as these little cameras that we have on the screen um, so with a good group you can this is just insane xp but once again just like the evenings or challenges the xp only applies once so if you're doing an epic tr um and you've already maxed out your slayers you will not be getting xp uh but once again you know the thing is if if you uh, use a potion um one kill actually gets you three kills so this is just insane i mean you just get your slayers up extremely fast another good thing to know if you didn't know the um for the those um slayers is that um there's scaling, so scaling applies. So if you have just one person, you're just gonna get like two mobs, you know, it's just like pitiful. But if you have like 10 people in your instance, uh, and those people can actually be piking, if you have friends or guildies that are doing nothing, you can just ask them to enter and just do nothing and they'll actually get some kills as well. Um, so you will you will get big groups of mobs instead if you have the more people you have. The, the downside is obviously that um, they are a bit harder to kill. Um, and finally, and this is indeniably the most efficient way to level, 
even if it is the most boring, um, it is to farm the crucible optionals. Um, I mean, you know, it's just insane. Do you know a way to get 22k XP per minute? You know, it's um, and basically if you do that, you get you get um, you get up to 6.6 .6 million XP in, in four or five hours. I'm not, but then you have to do it. You know, it's for four or five hours. I mean. I just kind of do it. So basically, when there's nothing going on, there's like literally no questing or no guildies around and, and everything. I will just be running um, some um, uh, some of the crucible. So I mean, let me just uh, show you how efficient it is. Uh, well, no, actually, I will not be showing it. I will be doing this in uh, in another video uh, because yeah, the plan is basically to. Uh, this is like the general XP guide and then depending on what people ask for because you know if no one asks for um, anything and everyone is happy with this then I'll, you know I'll, I won't be making any other videos but if people ask me um, hey Sif uh, you know how uh, how do you run um, um, Spice in the house because it's uh, quite that not many people I believe know that well if someone asks me that you know asks me that question then I will be running Spice in the house and try to explain a bit more how to run it uh, efficiently and everything so you know it just depends on what you guys uh, uh, want um, and well yeah thanks for watching I have a Facebook um, page uh, at Sif DDO where you can ask me questions and I answer pretty fast um, and yeah feel free to request um, you know any video or anything that you would like to see or questions you know remarks maybe even if i s forgot something or anything just you know throw a comment uh, below or on facebook and thanks for watching leave a like and uh, subscribe thanks see you